thanks so much for joining me today and a warm welcome to you all today we are going to be talking about deep vein thrombosis and i'm going to be focusing on the symptoms of deep vein thrombosis deep vein thrombosis is a condition that has got complications that can be quite fatal so it's essential that we know the symptoms associated with it so we would be able to tell when it's time to see a doctor or to seek a doctor's attention especially if we come across a family member or a friend experiencing those symptoms my name is lydia and this is time with lydia the pharmacist this is a channel where we educate ourselves on common health problems we provide advice and information on health and well-being so if you're new here please don't hesitate to hit on that subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos deep vein thrombosis occurs when a blood clot forms in one or more of the deep veins in the body usually in the legs deep vein thrombosis can be serious because blood clots in the veins can break loose the clots can then travel through the bloodstream and get stuck in the lungs blocking blood flow through the lungs and this is known as pulmonary embolism pulmonary embolism is a very serious condition anything that prevents the blood from flowing properly or clotting can cause a blood clot and the main causes of deep vein thrombosis are damage to a vein from surgery or inflammation and damage due to infection or injury so our main focus the symptoms of deep vein thrombosis can include throbbing or cramping pain in one leg it rarely occurs in both legs usually in the calf or thigh there can be swelling in one leg and this rarely occurs in both legs the skin around the painful area can become warm and darkened and the color will depend on the color of your skin there can be swelling of veins that will be hard or sore to touch these symptoms can also occur in your arms or tummy if that is where the blood clot is and as i said earlier on pulmonary embolism can be a life-threatening complication of deep vein thrombosis and you would have to seek emergency medical help if you start experiencing the warning signs and symptoms of pulmonary embolism these would include a sudden shortness of breath chest pain or discomfort that worsens when you take a deep breath or when you cough there would also be a feeling of lightheadedness or dizziness fainting rapid pulse rate rapid breathing and coughing up blood these are symptoms that would require emergency medical help there are many things that can increase the risk of developing deep vein thrombosis and the more risk factors you have the greater your risk of developing deep vein thrombosis risk factors include age being older than 60 increases the risk of deep vein thrombosis but you know deep vein thrombosis can occur at any age a lack of movement can also be a risk factor and this is because muscle squeezing or contractions help blood flow when the legs don't move for a long time the calf muscles don't squeeze or contract sitting for a long time such as when driving or flying increases the risk of deep vein thrombosis also a long bed rest which may result from a lengthy hospital stay or a medical condition such as paralysis can put you at risk an injury or a surgery can increase the risk of blood clots pregnancy can also be a risk factor and this is because pregnancy increases the pressure in the veins in the pelvis and legs and it's important to note that the risk of blood clots from pregnancy can continue for up to six weeks after a baby is born also people with an inherited 
clotting disorder are especially at risk. Some medications such as birth control pills, also known as oral contraceptives or hormone replacement therapy, can both increase the blood's ability to clot. Also, being overweight or obese increases the pressure in the veins in the pelvis and legs. Smoking is also a risk factor and smoking affects how blood flows and clots, which can increase the risk of deep vein thrombosis. Some cancers also increase substances in the blood that cause the blood to clot. And some types of cancer treatment also increases the risk of blood clots. Heart failure is also a risk factor of deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism because the heart and lungs don't work well in people with heart failure. The symptoms caused by even a small blood clot in the lungs are more noticeable. Also, a personal or family history of deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism can also put you at a greater risk of developing deep vein thrombosis. Genetics is also a risk factor. Dehydration is another risk factor. Now we want to look at some things that we can do to prevent deep vein thrombosis because as much as possible, we want to avoid a life-threatening condition like deep vein thrombosis. There are some simple lifestyle changes that can help us prevent deep vein thrombosis. We can follow these strategies. The first one is move your legs. If you've had surgery or have been on bed rest, Try to move as soon as possible. Don't cross your legs while sitting because doing so can block blood flow. When traveling, take frequent breaks to stretch your legs. When on a plane, stand or walk occasionally. If you're traveling by car, stop every hour or so and walk around. If you can't walk, do lower leg exercises. That is, raise and lower your heels while keeping your toes on the floor. Then raise your toes while keeping your heels on the floor. The second strategy is don't smoke. Smoking increases the risk of deep vein thrombosis. And the third strategy is manage your weight. Obesity is a risk factor for deep vein thrombosis and regular exercise lowers the risk of blood clots. As a general goal, aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate physical activity every day. And strategy number four, do not drink a lot of alcohol. As I always say, prevention is better than cure. So let's put these preventive strategies in place so as not to develop deep vein thrombosis. I hope you have learned something new today. Please give this video a thumbs up. Share with your family and friends as this is information that a lot of people need to hear about. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please hit on that subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you very much for your time today and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.